Good morning everyone. Today, we are here to discuss the physical and emotional changes that adolescents experience during puberty. Over the course of the next 10 slides, we'll explore the changes in height, body shape, voice, sweat and sebaceous glands, sex organs, and mental, cognitive and emotional maturity. Let's begin by looking at the physical and emotional changes that adolescents experience. Adolescence and puberty are key stages in the journey from childhood to adulthood. Starting around 11 years of age, the body is subject to physical changes which can be intense and hard to understand. These changes mark the onset of puberty and may include growth in height, alteration of body proportion, adjustments to the voice, greater activity of sweat and sebaceous glands, development of sexual organs and maturing mental, intellectual and emotional capacities. It is crucial for young people to be aware of the changes happening and to take the necessary steps to stay healthy. Adolescence and puberty must be embraced and supported in a way that gives the young person the assurance needed to confront these epical changes. Puberty brings physical and emotional changes that can differ from person to person. Height, body shape and voice can change significantly during this time. Sweat and sebaceous glands become increasingly active and sex organs fully develop, leading to a new level of mental, intellectual, and emotional maturity. Growth in height is one of the defining elements of puberty. By the age of 11, a boy will have reached around 80% of their full height, with a girl at 88%. Though girls tend to grow faster than boys, both will reach their maximum height by around 18. Height is usually similar to that of their parents due to genetics, but can vary greatly due to other factors like diet and environment. Puberty brings many physical and emotional changes. Boys will typically experience increased muscle mass, leading to a broader set of shoulders and wider chest. Girls will notice an enlargement of their breasts and hips. Boys will have an enlargement of the larynx, visible as an Adam's apple in the throat, and their voice will deepen and might become hoarse. Girls' voices usually stay high-pitched throughout puberty, but becomes more normal. Increased secretions of sweat and sebaceous glands can lead to acne and pimples on many adolescents' faces. Male physical development during puberty includes the testes and penis fully developing and beginning to produce sperm, while in females, the ovaries will fully develop and begin to produce eggs. Puberty marks an important period of physical, mental, intellectual, and emotional growth as an individual moves into adulthood. During this stage of life, there will be increases in height, changes in body shape, and a shift in voice. Sweat and sebaceous glands will become more active, with the development of sex organs also taking place. Secondary sexual characteristics are a result of hormones produced by the endocrine glands. For example, boys can expect facial and body hair growth and sperm production in the testes, while girls experience breast development, hair growth in the pubic and armpit area, and egg production from their ovaries. All of these changes are governed by hormones released by the pituitary gland. At this stage of adolescence, both males and females experience dramatic physical transformations. For females, the reproductive system starts to operate, the ovary releases an egg each month and a fertilized egg can be welcomed by the uterus. However, if fertilization does not take place, the uterus sheds its wall, leading to blood and mucus being discharged. This cycle is named menstruation and the beginning of this cycle is referred to as menarche. Menstruation continues until about 40 to 50 years old, eventually ceasing and being referred to as menopause. Sex determination is a complex process determined by genetic codes located in chromosomes. In humans, each cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes, of which two are known as sex chromosomes, designated X and Y females have two X chromosomes, whilst males have one X and one Y chromosome. 
The sex chromosomes found in sperms and eggs are determined genetically. Some sperms carry X chromosomes and others Y, and all eggs contain X chromosomes. If a sperm carrying an X chromosome is united with an egg with an X chromosome, then the resulting child will be female. Likewise, if the sperm carrying a Y chromosome is united with an egg with an X chromosome, then the baby will be male. The endocrine glands within the human body are heavily involved in regulating development during adolescence. The pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland, pancreas, testes and ovary all release hormones that help with growth and changes in the body, such as increasing height, changes in body structure, modifications in vocal range, increased activity of the sweat and sebaceous glands, and the development of sex organs. The pituitary gland, for example, is responsible for managing the hormones of the testes and ovary. The thyroid gland, when insufficient, can cause goiter, which is the enlargement of the throat. Among the hormones secreted by the adrenal gland is adrenaline that functions to help the body deal with stress, fear and worries. The pancreas releases insulin the lack of which generates diabetes. The testes produce testosterone which is in charge of the formation of sperm and the secondary sexual characteristics of men. Similarly, the ovary secretes estrogen which regulates the production of eggs and the secondary sexual traits of women. Scientific research has demonstrated that in order to achieve good physical and mental health during adolescence and puberty, a combination of a balanced diet, personal hygiene, and physical activity is essential. A healthy diet should include a variety of foods, such as cereals, vegetables, fruits, pulses, dairy products, nuts, meat, eggs, sugar, jaggery, and other sources of nutrition. Good personal hygiene, including a daily bath, can help protect against bacterial diseases and other health problems. Additionally, engaging in regular physical activities, including walking, playing outdoor games, and exercising, are important to keep the body in good condition. Taken together, these three elements form the basis of good health in adolescence. Drugs are not a solution to any problems in life and can have long-term consequences, even fatal ones. AIDS is a highly contagious and debilitating disease caused by the HIV virus and can spread through sexual contact sharing of syringes used for injecting drugs, and from a mother to her child through her milk. It is therefore essential to be aware of the risks that drugs and HIV pose to our health and well-being. The safest way to stay healthy is to practice healthy lifestyle, stay away from drugs and use protection when engaging in any sexual activity. Always remember to say, no, to drugs.